Hi there! This video will discuss different types of lists and how to create them in Lighthouse Studio. Lists are an essential part of our survey programming. They create the available options that a respondent can choose from in each question. At Sawtooth Software, we have two types of lists, predefined and constructed. First, we will discuss predefined lists. A predefined list will always show the same items or options to each respondent who takes the survey. To get started on creating a predefined list, first we will open up a survey which I have already created. We next click on Q1 to open up my first question. We can see the question is, which of these beverages do you drink regularly? Select all that apply. Next, we come up to the top and select the Response Options tab. We can choose here whether we want to create a new list or reference an already existing list with these radio buttons. I will keep the already existing list created, named Q1 list. Now we can add options to our survey question by clicking here on the Add button, or another way is to copy and paste a list in. On a separate document I have already created, I have my predefined list. If I copy this list and return to my survey, and then click on this clipboard icon, my entire list is pasted in. This is how we create predefined lists. We click OK to save. Using a predefined list will work great for many cases. However, there may be situations when the options for the question are dependent on what the respondent selects, which means we cannot create a predefined list which shows the exact same options for each respondent because the options will vary depending on what the respondent chooses. This is the purpose for using constructed lists. A simple example of a constructed list can be a follow-up question to our beverage question. Let me add a second question. I'll make it select type and I will keep the name as Q2. Our question will be, of the beverages you chose, which do you drink most often? We need to make a list which includes all of the choices that were selected in the question prior to this one. To get started on making a constructed list, we click OK to exit this window and then come up to the top and click here on the List button. Once we come into this screen, below we can choose what type of list we want to make. We can choose to add a predefined or a constructed list. We want constructed. We'll click the Add Constructed List button. Let's add a name for our new list, and we'll call it Chosen Beverages. And then we choose a parent list. A parent list is the source for our constructed list. It is very important to remember that the parent list needs to be the same list used in the question you are referencing. In our example here, the parent list will be the predefined list from question 1, or Q1 list. This contains the different beverages that can be chosen. Then, in the box below, we can define what our constructed list will look like. For those of you who aren't familiar with what functions are available to be used, click here on the Help button. Here we can look at a list of all defined functions within Sawtooth software. You can browse to see if one of these options better fits your needs. For our example today, we need to use the Add If Chosen function. If we look on the right side of this table, we can see a description of what each function does. On the left side, we can see the syntax of the function, AIC, and what needs to be included inside, which is just the question name. I now will exit out of this window. I then type AIC and the name of my question, which is just Q1, which means that anything that was chosen in Q1 will now be added to this new constructed list. Once I am done, I can also use the red check mark button to check my syntax and make sure I have no errors or typos. Everything looks good. Once we click OK, we need to attach the constructed list to the question. We need to open up Q2 and go back to the top and select the Response Options tab. And under Existing Lists, we need to choose the list we just created, Chosen Beverages. We click OK to exit out and then save. Now our constructed list is attached to question 2. We can test our survey by clicking here on the test button. 
and then select Test Survey. We strongly recommend testing your survey to make sure your constructed lists and all other aspects of your survey are working correctly. This was a simple use of how to create a constructed list. There may be times where we need to group multiple commands together to obtain what we need. To show a more complex example, and with the same beverage question in mind, say we only wanted a respondent to choose from two of the options they had chosen. I have already created another survey, which I'm going to open up right now. My second question, Q2 complex, has a constructed list named chosen complex. If we come up here to the list button and open up this constructed list, we can take a look and see that I'm using the AIC function to add any of the chosen options from Q1 complex. And then I randomize those using the randomize function. And to only show two of those options, I use the list max function with a value of two inside. If we exit out of our question and click up here on the test button and then test survey, we can test this out to make sure everything's working properly. I will select three beverages such as soda, lemonade, and water. We will see on the next page that only two of these will be randomly chosen and displayed for us. Everything looks great. I will exit out of this window to head back to our survey. There's no limit to the number of list building functions you can include in a constructed list, so you can get very creative and complex. The only rule you have to follow is making sure to reference the correct parent list for each question. If you want to test out list building for yourself but do not have a license to the software, feel free to download a demo version of the software on our website in the link below. If you have any additional questions on constructed list building, you can reach out to us at support at sawtoosoftware.com.